Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I am back with another Mother Warfare commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my honest review of Season 4. With the release of Season 5 being very imminent, in fact by the time I upload this video Season 5 is already going to be live on Mother Warfare, I decided that today should finally be the day that I give you guys my review of Season 4 and basically tell you guys how I felt about the season as a whole. Also remember the pattern guys, where every time we get a new season, it already becomes better than the previous one. Like for for example, when we got season 0, we all thought that season was good and all, but then season 1 came out and we thought that was better. Then season 2, even better. Season 3, way better. Now season 4, let's find out if that pattern continued. So with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. Now, I want to start off by talking about the 4 new multiplayer maps that were introduced during the season. Two of them were 6v6 maps, one of them was a gunfight map, and the other one was a ground war map. The 6v6 maps were Scrapyard and Cheshire Park. And again, I am not sure if I am pronouncing that right. I don't know if it's Cheshire Park, Cheshire Park, Cheshire Park. <laughs> I just call it Cheshire Park because, I don't know, that's just how it looks to me. And then the gunfight map was Trench and the ground war map was Barricade Promenade. So let's start off by talking about Scrapyard. Now we all know Scrapyard from Modern Warfare 2 or maybe even some of us know it from Warzone because it's located near Boneyard and Scrapyard, honestly guys, was a pretty good remaster and the main reason to that is it wasn't entirely revamped like Shipment. When it was first announced that Shipment was going to be remastered, I was pretty hyped but once I saw that it was going to be revamped a lot where containers would be moved around a little bit, some of them would also be opened up, I was kind of skeptical about it because I felt like the spawn system was going to be horrendous and I was 100% right. However, with Scrapyard, the only change I could really notice is the addition of doors. And again guys, I do not like doors. Nobody likes doors. but. They don't really affect the gameplay and also the spawn system on here is fairly good. You're not spawning in front of enemies giving them an easy kill or enemies are not always spawning in front of you which gives you an easy kill. Sure it may happen here and there because I have gotten that before but rarely. It's very rare for an enemy to spawn right in front of you or for you to spawn right in front of an enemy on Scrapyard. And I forgot to mention that the remaster of Scrapyard is beautiful. The sky is blue and it looks very nice, the sun is shining and it was kind of similar to that um, in Modern Warfare 2, but obviously with the downgraded graphics, it was a bit different and it kind of looked a little dull, but again, the gameplay on there is what always matters. Then the second 6v6 map that we got was Cheshire Park, and guys, this map right here is honestly one of my favorite maps in Modern Warfare. It's probably right next to Shoot House. Everything about this map to me is amazing. The gameplay, the layout, the ambiance, the environment, the beautiness, and much more. Not to mention that this is a three-lane map, so obviously many people including myself are huge fans of this map and I really hope that we see a 24-7 playlist for it return very soon and maybe we may even get a 24-7 playlist where they put this map and one of the newer maps for season 5 so that would be pretty dope as well. Moving on to the gunfight map, Trench. Honestly guys, I have not played a single match of Trench. I have not been able to play one complete match on this new map and the reason for that is, well it's actually two reasons. Number one, Whenever I do play multiplayer, which hell, I've been playing more Warzone than multiplayer recently, but when I do play MP, I play either Shipment 24-7, Shoe House 24-7, or TDM, maybe even Hardpoint at times, but Gunfight, I have not been playing that at all recently, so yeah, obviously I'm not gonna get Trench or any Gunfight map for that matter. <laughs> and then, number two, whenever I do play Gunfight, for some reason, I never get Trench. I'm always getting Hill, King. Docks, Pine, you know, all those gunfight maps that we've seen before, but for some reason, Trench just never comes in the rotation. It's very unfortunate, guys. I really wanted to play Trench because this seems like a very dope map. I like the layout of it, and there's also an Easter egg on here where you could open up the bunker. When you open it, you could go in there, explore, and... There's another easter egg that you could do inside of the bunker where if you do it, you could open up a secret door and then there will be a teddy bear that fires a minigun at you, so <laughs> it's like a fun easter egg. Moving on to the final multiplayer map, which is the ground war map, we have Barricade Promenade. This is basically Promenade East or West from Warzone, but now as a ground war map, and this right here is another map that I have not played a single match on because, well... I have not played Ground War at all. <laughs> I didn't play a single match of Ground War during Season 4. But from the looks of it, from looking at the map layout, I can tell that this map is pretty unique because this might be the only narrow map that we have in Modern Warfare that's literally shaped like a rectangle. <laughs> I mean, look at that. And also, I feel like the gameplay on here is pretty unique as well because, well, you're not able to really flank or go around like you're able to on other maps. And 
I also feel that snipers are dominating on here because, I mean, it looks like a sniper's paradise. So those were the four new multiplayer maps that we got throughout the season. And then we also got three new operators, which were Captain Price, Gaz, and Rose. I'm just going to say that my favorite operator out of these three was obviously Captain Price. My second one would probably be Gaz, even though I don't have him. And then my third one would be Rose, which I don't have her as well because those two operators were locked behind a bundle in the store. And... Captain Press was available as a Battle Pass reward if you bought it, and it was also available at tier 100 if you had the Battle Pass. For weapons, we got four new weapons, which were the CR-56 AMAX Assault Rifle, the Fennec Submachine Gun, the Ritek AMR Sniper Rifle, and the Cali Sticks Melee Weapon. All of these weapons were amazing. The CR-56 became my favorite DLC weapon, the Fennec became one of the craziest SMGs, it was basically the remastered version of the Vector, the right tech AMR was pretty good in multiplayer, but in Warzone, it was horrible. Completely trash. I mean, <laughs> this thing shoots 50 cal, but can't even get a one-shot kill to the head. So they need to fix that. And then the Cali sticks, I have not unlocked those yet, but I picked those up from enemies that already had them, and they are a lot of fun to use. I mean, <laughs> they're also pretty annoying because as soon as you get hit by one of them, you're pretty much guaranteed to die since you melee super quick. For Warzone, we got a good amount of updates as well. We got three new modes, which were Warzone Rumble 50v50, VR Realism, and Juggernaut Royale. Then we got two new contracts, which were the Contraband Contract. By completing this, you would get the Lonely Lagoon Blueprint for the AX50 and some money. And the other contract was the Supply Run Contract. And this right here was basically a fire cell, but you had to get to a specific buy station. And once you got there, you would get some money and you would be able to buy items at a discounted price. And some new events, such as a Choppers event, where Choppers would spawn in, if you destroyed one, it would drop a loadout crate, and if you got it, you would get a ton of loot. Everything you need to win the game. There was a Fire Cell event where everybody in the Gulag got released, brought back into the game, and if you were also spectating, you were brought back into the game. And the Fire Cell event, which would basically be a Fire Cell for every buy station. Every item was at a discounted price, and if you had to bring back your teammates or get a soul revive, those were free. And the final thing I want to talk about is the Season 4 Battle Pass. This has got to be the best Battle Pass out of all the Battle Passes we have gotten in the past. We had so many great items in here from Weapon Charms that, yeah, I know, it's just Weapon Charms, but they were pretty dope to amazing blueprints for weapons that I never thought we would see, to many skins for operators and all that kind of stuff. My favorite rewards from this battle pass have got to be the operator skins, the weapon blueprints, the tier 100 rewards, and the new weapons. But like I said, all of the items were amazing. And I'm very glad that Infinity Ward is continuing to give us all new weapons for free. They're not putting them behind the paywall or behind supply drops, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm really happy that, you know, all you gotta do is grind the game to get these new weapons and you don't even need to own the $10 battle pass because these weapons are free and yeah guys that is pretty much everything for season 4 that we got and of course I may have missed a couple small things but for the most part I mentioned all of the big things so my overall rating for season 4 would have to be an 8 out of 10 and this is still a pretty good rating obviously it's not like I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 4 out of 10 or even a 6 out of 10 no 8 out of 10 pretty good season and I would have to also say that this has got to be the best season of Modern Warfare as of right now. <laughs> We're still continuing with that pattern. What I was really hoping to see was the nuke event that was heavily teased during Season 3 and Bunker 11. I really thought that Season 4 was going to be the official season where we finally see what happens, but nope, I was wrong. We didn't get a single thing about that and oh my goodness guys. Again, I'm really anxious. I want to see what's going to happen. That's the main reason why I gave Season 4 a solid 8 out of 10 because we were anticipating many events but didn't really get any of them. And when I say events, I'm talking about like huge events that are game breaking, that literally changed the map of Warzone. But we are finally going to be getting that for Season 5. So yeah, maybe Season 5 will be the nuke event as well. I, I, I really hope, guys. But anyways, that is pretty much going to be my Season 4 review. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time whenever I upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about Season 4 as a whole. Did you guys think that this season was pretty fun? Disappointing, boring, overhyped, anything, let me know. Again, I personally thought that season four was pretty good. Best season as of recording this video to me, but I was anticipating a little bit more with that nuke event. And I'm gonna stop talking about that now because we are finally getting something huge for season five, and that is 
The top of stadium being blown off, being able to enter stadium, being able to enter the interior of airport, the new train, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that new command, I guess we could wait now, but I still want to see it very soon, man. I'm just so anxious. <laughs> But for the last time, I'm going to be back on the grind. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like. And hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Wednesday. And without a pizza, has been John. Ready to play some Season 5. And oh my goodness, guys. By the time I upload it, we're going to be going at it already. And I'm out. Peace.